authentication in GSM. What is authentication? Authentication verifies the identity and validity of the SIM card to the network and ensures that the subscriber has authorized access to the network. Terms used in authentication process KI KI is the individual subscriber authentication key. It's a 32-bit number that is paired with MC when the SIM card is created. KI is only stored on the SIM card and the authentication center. RAND RAND is a random 128-bit number that is generated by the AUC when the network network requests to the to authenticate a subscriber rand is used to generate the signed responses and the kc crypto variables sres or the signed responses is a 32 bit crypto variable used in authentication process the ms is challenged by the given rand by the network the sres is the ex ex expected cor correct response the sres is never passed on the um air interface it is kept at the msc dlr which performs the authentication check KC KC is a 64-bit ciphering key that is used in the A5 encryption algorithm to encipher and decipher the data that is being transmitted over the UM interface. A3 algorithm The A3 algorithm computes a 32-bit sign response. The KI and a RAND are inputted into the A3 algorithm and the result is a 32-bit SRES. The A3 algorithm resides on the SIM card and at the AUC. A8 algorithm. The A8 algorithm computes a 64-bit ciphering key, KC. The KI and the RAN are the inputs to the A8 algorithm and the result is 64-bit KC. The A8 algorithm resides on the IMSI SIM card and the AUC. Authentication flow. Components which comes into picture in authentication flow are mobile station, MSC slash VLR, home location register or the HLR, and the authentication center or the AUC. When the MS requests access to the network, the MSC VLR will normally require the MS to authenticate. The MSC will forward the IMSI to the HLR and request authentication. When the HLR receives the IMSI and the subscriber request, it first checks its database to make sure the MC is valid and belongs to the network. Once it has accomplished this, it will forward the MC and the authentication request to the authentication center and request for authentication triplets. The AUC will use the IMSI to look up into the associated KI with that IMSI, the AUC will also generate 28-bit random number, RAND and a key. The random number and KI are inputted to A3 algorithm. The output is 32-bit sign response or the SRES. The SRES is initially the challenge sent to the mobile station when authentication is requested. The RAND and KI are inputted to the A8 algorithm. The output is 64-bit KC, the ciphering key, that is used in A5 algorithm to encipher and decipher the data that is being transmitted on the UM interface. The RAND, SRES and KC together form the triplets. Once the AUC has generated the triplets, it will forward them to HLR. The HLR subsequently sends these requests, requested triplets to the MSC VLR. The MSC stores the KC and the SRES but forwards the RAND to the mobile station in order to authenticate. The MS has the KI stored on the SIM card. The A3 and A8 algorithm also resides on the SIM card. The RAND and KI are inputted into the A3 and A8 algorithms to generate RES, that is the response and the KC respectively. MS will send the RES to MSC VLR. Here, MSC will match the RES with the sign response coming from the authentication center. Once these two sign responses are matched, mobile station is authenticated. I hope this has been informative for you and I like to thank you for viewing.